Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions, and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this uh, liquidy style text reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. It's going to be a super easy tutorial, but a super fun one. It's really easy to create, and we will be using some really basic effects to achieve this final animation. So, without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. all right so here we are in after effects let's start by creating a new composition i'm gonna go with 2k you can of course go with 4k or full hd as well then let's create another new composition this is going to be a text placeholder you can of course use a logo if you want to i'm just gonna type in text here and then select the text tool and type in your text so i'm gonna type in maybe ripple align this into the center the font i'm using is a clash gross tech which is a free font maybe i'll place it something like so looking good now let's create another new composition and i'll call this ripple base this composition is going to be our base comp for the animation so press ok let's press ctrl y to create a new solid call this layer or you can call it whatever that you want and then go into effects and presets so i'll quickly add the effects and presets panel if i can find that search for an effect called radio waves double click to apply that this effects basically create this nice radio waves animation and there are a lot of different properties to tweak this particular animation so you can use this effect in number of different ways for now first of all i'll change the color and make it white all right so let's start by tweaking some settings in the wave motion section so first let's animate the frequency so i'll go to around maybe somewhere around there and set the frequency to let's go with something like three create a keyframe go a few frames forward and set this to zero then i'll increase the expansion from five to around 25 and also let's increase the velocity to around 40 should be good and for the lifespan right now it's set to 10 seconds let's bring that down to 1.5 seconds so it fades out like so all right let's increase the fade in time to three seconds and let's increase the fade out time to maybe 20. for the start width right now it's set to five so we can increase this so let's go with somewhere around 60 and the end width is going to be bigger so let's go with something like 100. so now we have something like this now i also need to animate it so i'll go at the very start let's select the radio waves and select this producer point and i'll place it maybe somewhere around there create a keyframe on the producer point go to two seconds and let's drag that holding shift like so so we have something which looks like this okay so that is looking nice now to turn it into a more liquidy ripple what i can do is add an effect called um fast box blur but before that let's add one more effect that is going to be solid composite so it's going to treat it like a black solid layer behind this ripple so right now if i turn this on it's transparent and i want a black solid behind this effect so i'll turn this into black and then i'll add an effect called fast blur let's increase this to around 20 now to increase the intensity of the ripple i'll use a curves adjustment so i'll really quickly add a curves and create a point right here and let's drag this like so so somewhere around there should be good and finally i will add a turbulent displace double click to apply that and let's set the displacement to bulge so now we have this really nice look as you can see pretty cool maybe i'll move this a bit more forward so i'll select the radio waves and let's tweak this maybe something like that so this looks really nice okay so this is the base of the ripple effect now let's create a new composition this is going to be ripple merge so we need to make it look a bit more complex let's drag the ripple base composition inside this duplicate this press ctrl d press r to bring down the rotation and rotate it by 180 degrees so we have two copies and set the blend mode of this to screen so 
now we have something like this now i don't want both of these layers to start together so i'll move them by maybe 10 frames or 15 frames like so so this is looking much more random and now to take this one step further what i'll do is right click and create a new adjustment layer called this echo go into effects and presets search for echo effect double click to apply that and let's set the echo time to minus 0 0.100 okay let's increase the number of echoes to around 3 and set the decay to 0.4 so this is going to give us much more organic ripple look as you can see it's looking really nice now you can again go into the ripple base and tweak the curves layer a little bit if you don't want to make it that intense and that should make it look much more organic as you can see looking really cool i can also play around with the stroke size i think so i'll press u and oh we don't need to actually bring down the keyframes i'll go into the stroke width and maybe bring that down a little bit so let's set this down to 50 i think okay so that is looking much nicer so you can tweak it the way you want take your time but i think for now it's looking very very nice now to add a final touch to the ripple i'll create a new composition called this final ripple drag the ripple merge composition inside so yeah now we have something like that create a new adjustment layer call this fill and i can add a fill effect on this make it white press ok for now i'll hide it select the ripple merge and go into effects and presets search for an effect call again the echo add this let's set the echo time to minus 0 0.200 should be good number of echoes to three and yeah set the echo operator to screen so now we have something like this it's looking quite intense but yeah i think it looks nice and then somewhere around maybe let's say two seconds or something i want to fill up this complete layer so i'll select the fill press t to bring down the opacity create a keyframe go maybe somewhere around here go back and set this to zero so it fills up like that maybe i need to make it a bit more smoother here so let's see okay so that is looking really nice i think ripple animation is completed now we can go into our main render composition and drag the text here composition inside then go into effects and presets and search for a very cool effect called cc glass double click to apply that go into surface also one more thing that we need to do is drag the final ripple and the ripple merge composition inside the main render composition we can hide this for now let's place the final ripple below the ripple merge go back and select the texture composition and in the cc glass effect in the bump map i'm gonna select the ripple merge so it's gonna add this nice layer of ripple on this so you can see looks very very nice let's increase the softness of this to 100 and i'll set this one to 70 also bring down the displacement to around 10 or 8 maybe something like that so i want to keep it very very subtle now let's turn on the final ripple effect that we have toggle switch go into the blending modes and set this to i think it was stencil luma so this will give a really nice ripple reveal as you can see but we also need to add that nice displacement so to do that i'll right click and create a new adjustment layer call this fx go into effects and presets again and search for cc glass which is already here apply that go into the surface and let's select a bump map of ripple final ripple let's increase the softness to around 80 and this one the height to 70 let's increase the displacement quite a lot high to around 300 so this is going to add a nice displacement as you can see if i preview this looks very very nice i'll also maybe tweak the light and shading a little bit so for the light i'll increase the light height to around 75 and that should be fine and for the shading i'll bring down the ambient to around 35 the diffusion i'll leave it at 50 let's increase the specularity a little bit by 65 and um, for the roughness i need to bring that uh, to around maybe 0 0.08 should be fine and metal i'll set this to 70 
okay so that is looking nice now to take this a step further i'll add a nice rgb look to this so i'll duplicate the text here so press ctrl d select the second one and go into effects and presets search for shift channel effect and let's turn off the red and the blue channel so we only have the green channel here i'll play around with the height so we can increase this a little bit i think something like that and the softness as well so let's increase the softness to 1 1 10 bring down the height to 50 and let's increase the displacement or let's leave it at 300 i think 300 was good it was quite intense yep that was good let's duplicate this press ctrl d select the third one and let's turn off the green channel and turn on the red channel and then i'll increase the softness to around maybe 115 this one to 70 and yeah so now when we preview this let's see what we get yep i think this is looking quite nice now let's go ahead and add some glow on this so i'll create a new adjustment layer type in glow go into effects and presets search for glow effect let's increase the radius like so also make sure to switch to 16 bits per channel so i'll hold alt and click on this small button and that's gonna make it happen this will also help us avoid any kind of color bendings so i'll bring down the brightness a little bit like so so now we have this nice look yeah now it's gonna be a bit heavy on the system obviously because of the glows and the displacement the shift channel as well but you can tweak the ripple base animation you can make it however that you want and it's gonna completely change the look of our animation animation so if i hit u and let's say i'll delete the position of this or produce a placement i'll place it in the center so it produces the radio waves from the center and if i go back now the animation is going to be different so the ripple or the reveal is going to happen from the center which also looks quite nice by the way so you can see pretty cool so our animation is completely driven by the ripple base the black and white ripples that we create so make sure you play around with this technique and create some really complex and cool looking text animations so that is how you can create this liquidy title animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to leave a like and comment down below you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and nikhil pavar and if you want to learn after effects from scratch the right way i have a complete full-fledged course link to which is in the description below with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out